So today we're going to take a look at generating a phone gap application from scratch and then we're going to use this within uh, an iOS application so we're going to generate a native uh, iOS application that will run on the iPhone. So the first thing you want to do is go to phonegap.com once you go there uh, click on the developer tag go into downloads and from here you can pull the latest release which is PhoneGap 2.7.0 as of today or uh, in my case I'm going to pull down the PhoneGap 2.5.0 I know it's a good stable release for what I want to do um, they do rev PhoneGap quite often so you know you gotta pay attention to uh, the version number and, and which one and specifically you want to use which one works with your plugins or, or what have you so just be careful about that um, I've already downloaded PhoneGap 2.5.0 here I'm going to go ahead and open that folder up and then we're going to take a look in the lib uh, folder from here we've got all the different devices that are supported Android and iOS and Windows uh, 8 and Windows Phone and so on so in our case we want to generate an iOS project this is going to be an Xcode project so we'll open the iOS folder uh, from here we want to open up the bin folder and we're going to run this create program this create program is used to generate just a, essentially a blank phone gap application uh, that you can modify from there so in order to do that we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch terminal and uh, now what we want to do is we want to switch to that particular directory so we can run create. So here's a neat little trick on uh, OS X. So if you type in CD space and then you drag and drop that folder on in and then hit enter, you've now switched to that directly. You, directory. You can uh, confirm that if you type in PWD and then hit enter, uh, you will see the uh, current working directory so PWD is for print working directory and um, and if we typed in LS and hit enter we'd see a listing of, of everything in that directory and sure enough we see create there so now what we want to do is we want to run create and generate this phone gap uh, application and so to do that you enter the dot slash create now space now there's three parameters. The first parameter is going to be the location, the folder that we want to create that's going to contain the PhoneGap project. So in this case what I'd like to do is create this folder on my desktop and the desktop is going to be referenced through the user's home directory. Uh, you can reference that very easily uh, under OS X by just entering in the tilde character. So we're going to do that. That essentially is my user directory. And then we're going to go slash uh, desktop. And notice I used uppercase D. Uh, that's the default under OS X. And then from there, I'm going to enter in. Uh, so we're just going to call it my iOS app. That's going to be the folder name. Next, we enter in the bundle name. So the bundle. Um, is uses reverse domain notation so in this case it's I'm gonna type in uh, com dot alpha software dot and then I'll say my app and then the next parameter we enter is the actual application name so in this case we'll say my app go ahead and hit enter you'll notice it ran very very quickly and sure enough, if we look at our desktop, we'll see a new folder right here called My OS App. So let's close out Terminal now. We can close out Finder now. Let's go ahead and open up My OS App. So right from here, we can see these are all the PhoneGap assets. And the stuff you'll be playing around with will be uh, in the www folder. This contains uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, everything associated with building uh, a PhoneGap app. But you'll notice that we have an Xcode project right here. It's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on that and it's going to launch Xcode and it launched the application. 
So from here, I'd like to look at the directory structure and I can see, up. Oh, yep, there's the www folder. There's my index.html file. There it is right there in Xcode. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and run that on the iPhone simulator. And so I just pick the simulator I want to use. I click on run. It'll compile this application. The build succeeded. And sure enough, we see this is just a stock PhoneGap uh, or Apache Cordova uh, application. So it's indicating that the device is ready. So Cordova or, or PhoneGap is initialized and it's ready to go. Now, in our case, uh, we'll be loading most of our content most likely from an alpha server. So uh, in our case, I'm going to just quit out of the simulator. If you look at this config XML file, you'll notice uh, in the XML a content source equals, and, and here it says index.html. From here, you can just enter in uh, HTTP colon slash slash uh, the IP address of your server and the A5W page you want to launch, and that will go ahead and launch it. So it's really simple in order for you to include a, you know, a, um, an alpha a generated application right within the uh, PhoneGap shell. Just to show you something uh, so you can verify that, yeah, this is in fact working out of this particular directory here, I'm going to go ahead and put in an H2 tag here. And we're just going to say, this is my cool, let's put a space in there, my cool app. Close out that H2 tag. And uh, we'll just go ahead and, uh, and run it. And sure enough, you see uh, my cool app down here uh, in an H2 tag format. So what we showed you today was how to very quickly build a, a PhoneGap application uh, from scratch and how to uh, launch Xcode and, uh, and then how to uh, modify the config XML file to point to your specific uh, application.